What's up, YouTube? So the Miami Dolphins have just hired Frank Smith to be our offensive coordinator. Um, I do like the hire. Uh, he was the um, Chargers run game coordinator and offensive line coach. And to me, the hires that Mike McDaniel has been making um, really paint a picture of what he is prioritizing and you know where he thinks our, our coaching staff was last year and you know what he wants to do moving forward. Um, our defense has been really solid the past two years, and I think he realizes that. So he kept our defensive coordinator from last year, and I think that was a good move. Um, I think we could probably use a couple new players, maybe a nose tackle, maybe inside linebacker, because if anything, we did have a weakness on the interior. Um, so I think we could use some upgrades there. But for the most part, I think our defense is solid. Um, special teams, not really too much of a problem. I think we could use an upgrade at punter. Um, maybe a designated return man, so Jalen Waddle and um, you know Javon Holland don't have to risk injury by being on special teams. Um, but besides that, I, I think our special teams coaching was solid, uh, so I don't really have any complaints there. And we kept our special teams coordinator too. But on offense is where he really made changes, and obviously he's an offensive coach, so it makes sense. Um, and it's where we've struggled the most these last few years. And. We hired an offensive line coach out of college, from Boston College, who does a good job of teaching his players to get their hands inside, which is a big improvement from what we've been doing. Um, so that's great. Um, and then we hire this guy, who is has experience as a run game coordinator, similar to Mike McDaniel, and has also been a, is also an offensive line coach and has coached tight ends before. It sounds very similar to Mike McDaniel. Um, so to me, that makes it sound like the tight end position is going to be pretty important for this team, and we are going to prioritize having good offensive line play and running the football effectively, which I am all here for. <laughs> I really want to upgrade this offensive line big time. Um, I pretty much want basically an overhaul of this offensive line. I want to at least try to get three new starting offensive linemen throughout this class, I mean throughout this offseason. Um, I want to try to get at least two decent ones in free agency and at least one in the draft. Maybe even get four, like get like two players in the draft. Because I think, um, especially at guard, I think there are uh, some later round people we could look at on day three. Um, but it definitely sounds like offensive line and running the football is going to be a high priority. Now, I don't know where this leaves Mike Gusecki. Because like I said, it sounds like tight end is a position of value. Um, for this offense from now on. Um, but with Mike McDaniel, uh, he's used to George Kittle, who isn't just a good receiving threat. He's also a very good blocking tight end as well. And that is uh, Mike Kosecki's biggest shortcoming. He's basically a big receiver. Um, very reliable. He, he has the most reliable hands on this team by far. But he uh, he doesn't necessarily block that great. So I don't I don't know... Um, where Mike McDaniel is going to really stand with him as far as trying to re-sign him. Um, so we'll kind of have to see. I think he will like Adam Shaheen because he's a pretty good blocking tight end. We have him for another year. Uh, we'll see with Hunter Long. Um, but I wouldn't be shocked if he wants to maybe look at a tight end maybe on day two. Maybe like a Trey McBride or something like that. Uh, we'll just kind of have to see. But I do like this move of hiring Frank Smith, like I said. Um, it really is showing what Mike McDaniel is thinking as far as trying to fix this offense. And I also think some uh, upgrades at running back would be good. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.